Good morning. Could be good afternoon or good evening, actually, depending on what time you're watching this video. Um, here we are back at John Cleese Car Audio. My name is Connor, and I am today showing you around a Yaris Cross, which is a large Yaris, Yaris on steroids. Um, this is come in because customer is complaining that too much road noise, he needs it quieter, so he's into us for soundproofing. All right, now, he didn't want to go down the route of soundproofing the whole car because it is a considerable investment over a week's worth of work, but we're going to start with key areas. Uh, and we agree with the customer the best place to start would be the boot, the rear arches, and the front and rear doors. Okay, so we've already started. I'm going to show you what kind of like where we are at the moment, explain a bit about how soundproofing is done and why it takes so long, especially the doors, they're a bit of a tricky install in any car. Um, but let's go and have a look where we're, where we're at so far. So this is the boot uh, hybrid version, hence the battery and all the uh, bright cable in there. So this is what we've got on so far. This is Skin's uh, free mill um, material on top of the metal first. And then what we've done is we've also got the uh, silver skins on all of this metal around here. And then we put the uh, Fermo acoustic liner on top. I think that's a five or six mil. Could actually be, oh no, it could actually be 10 mil, sorry. It's a bit thicker than that. Uh, we apply that to the wheel arches because as you can imagine, the wheel arches are gonna be a, a poor area for noise because of the wheels and directly underneath. So we've got this area done first and then that we've done is we've moved on to the doors. Now, door soundproofing, let's talk about that. So what we've got on door soundproofing is we actually put four layers of soundproofing on. So. Uh, when we say four layers, what we mean is we've got the outer skin, which is the painted side, um, which is the bit you would knock on the outside of the door, you know, this bit. Okay. We then have the uh, inner skin, which is this bit here, which is what the door card mounts onto. Uh, we've done the outer skin fully. Some cars are trickier than others, like this one. This is your only access hole here and here to actually get the soundproofing all the way up into there. So that's time consuming because you haven't exactly got a big hole where you can just stick it on and you've got to get your tools. Oh, excuse me. There's another employee coming in, our shop dog. Um, this is the inner skin. We haven't fully done this yet, but we will carry on soundproofing this. And then once we've done the inner skin, what we then do is we apply soundproofing to the door card, which is the actual plastic here. And we do two layers on this. So we put the skin soundproofing on the plastic and then we put a Fermo acoustic liner on top. So I will come back shortly in the video and show you the finished article of that. Uh, same on the front doors. Front doors. Uh, we've actually already completed, but I'll show you the other side of the outer skin because we've already put this back together. Uh, but we put the panel back on. This is the access point we've got on here. Again, only access through to the outer skin is from this panel and through the speaker roll. So again, to get up to the top corner here, tricky and time consuming. You generally spend a whole day just doing a pair of front doors, for example. All right, um, back shortly and uh, we'll show you what behind the scenes of the other door looks like. I am now back at the passenger side to show you the behind the scenes of the soundproofing on this side. Now, going close up, you'll see the access hole has not been refitted back on this side, just so we can show you that the skin's free mill goes all the way up. You can just about see the, the reflection of a light on the soundproof at the top there. So the whole outer skin of this door is completely soundproofed. Now, what we also do is through the speaker hole here, this is, the, this is the factory speaker. What we, what we do on every speaker upgrade is we put a wave diffuser behind the uh, speaker itself, which reduces standing waves uh, and basically helps with the control, um, mid bass. So it's really important material. We've done it on the factory speaker this time because we thought, why have we got it apart? Why not make the sound speaker sound better? Even though he's not doing this for an audio upgrade, it will be a byproduct. The soundproofing will make the speaker sound better, even though they're not great speakers. But so if we zoom in, you can just about see the eggshell material, even with the, there you go. Not the best, but you can see it just about. Um, now, the front door has had the access panel put back on. So there you go now, we've also soundproofed this piece as well. Now, next up will be the door cars, which are right here, and uh, back shortly on this video, and you'll see them all completed. And what you can see behind me now is the, on this Yaris Cross, we've got the rear quarters that go in the boot, which we've first treated with Skin's free mill on the whole entire cover of the panel. And then we've covered the whole panel on top of the Skin's free mill with a five mil firm acoustic liner. We've also done the same on the door cards, which you can see on the video now. We've put the skins free mil on the door card first, and then on top of the free mil, we've then put the 15 mil acoustic liner. So 
complete 100% coverage. Now, we just gotta put the car back together. And there we have it. This Toyota Yaris Cross is all put back together. It's a wrap. All doors are back on. Inside's all cleaned up. Back to basically how it came in as. Doesn't look any different. But yeah, the customer is gonna be, well, I think he's gonna be blown away with the difference on his first drive home. You'll probably see his comments in the, hopefully, we're gonna get in a comment on this YouTube uh, video so you can actually get his feedback and you can see it. But yeah, we've done all four doors, all of the boot and sort of underneath the rear seat area, fully soundproof with a mix of skins free mill, double layer in some, some areas, and then we've used skins liner elsewhere. So yeah, that's a wrap. That's basically soundproofing a bit behind the scenes. Drop a comment, don't forget to subscribe, turn that notification bell on so you get alerted when we put new videos up. But for now, ta-ta.